Welcome back to Hey Kentucky. To uh, get another update on how our state is doing, we are very pleased to welcome in House Democratic Caucus Whip Angie Hatton. Thank you, Representative Hatton, for joining us today. Hi, my pleasure. Thanks for having me. So uh, kind of give me your uh, thoughts on how we have done. Now, a lot of people were back out and about over the Memorial Day weekend, restaurants, um, some more businesses open up this week. Talk about how you think we are doing easing back into the economy. Well, I think by just about every single way you can measure that Kentucky is doing well. I mean, there was a time pretty recently when Kentucky and North Dakota were the only states that were ready to reopen according to the federal guidelines. We're reopening slowly because it's not a race um, uh, at all times. I feel like our governor has prioritized human life over every other consideration. And uh, when you compare our numbers to other states, even you know, our border states, all but West Virginia, we have lower numbers, which means that we've saved more lives. So, I mean, by every way you can measure it, um, Kentucky, as far as the saving of lives and, and reopening appropriately, is doing it right. Unemployment wise, we are still, you know, way up there. Uh, I don't know if we're still number one, but we were number one in that dreaded category. How do you feel about, uh, do, you, do you feel like it's opened up fast enough for people? Obviously, everyone wants unemployment to, um, the, our numbers to be taken care of a lot more quickly. Um, but there's a lot of really um, strong reasons why it happened in the way it did. We had um, basically systematically for the last several years, Kentucky's state government had done what I would consider a war on working people. We had made it more difficult to draw benefits. We had um, done a number of things that made it harder for people to have disability, to draw their unemployment, um, workers' comp, black lung, and those sorts of things show And this, this unemployment um, issue is just indicative of a larger problem in Kentucky between the haves and the have nots. And so few of us have enough savings to get us through even, you know, a one month delay in income. And Kentucky had um, a very antiquated system. We voted, the legislature voted two years ago to update the system, but the purchase order had never been put in to make that happen until Governor Bashir took office. And also Kentucky opened up their unemployment much more quickly than most states. Our governor actively encouraged people to apply every single day in his 5 p.m. broadcast. People who weren't qualified suddenly became qualified and the antiquated system was not prepared to deal with that. There were algorithms that would immediately um, reject folks who were applying. But I, I believe that by now, all of the ones that have not yet received their unemployment benefits had some sort of a problem, an issue, a, um, a controversy of some kind. Finally, we've, we've seen protests over the last month or so about uh, the reopening of the economy and such. But this weekend, it took a different turn when the governor's image was hung in effigy outside of his home. If you could just kind of talk about uh, what visceral reaction you had to seeing that. Like most people, I was completely disgusted. I love a protest. I have, my, even my daughter loves, love, we love a rally, we love a protest. But when things go so far beyond um, a peaceful protest to the point that um, a father whose young children and, and wife um, live inside the governor's mansion and folks are not only hanging an image of him from a tree, but storming onto the the grounds of the governor's mansion and up to the door and um, I even heard reports they were trying to climb up to a, an upstairs window. It just has gone so far beyond the issue at hand. And can you imagine how hard it would be to do the governor's job right now? His sole focus every single time I've talked to him and every time I've talked to any of his staff is keeping Kentuckians alive. And that includes making some unpopular decisions about people's workplaces. The, the reaction um, that we saw this past weekend was appalling. Representative Angie Hatton, we appreciate you taking some time out. We know you all are working hard to try to get everything uh, fixed, both economically and on the health care front. So uh, we appreciate your time today.
Thank you. And, you know, for those who are protesting, I would say that, yes, we all have to sacrifice a little bit for the common good. But, you know, just because I have I'm over 21 and I'm allowed to buy alcohol and consume it and I have a driver's license, that means I can ha drink alcohol and I can drive. But it doesn't mean I can do them both together because it would hurt other people. So I just urge all those who are protesting to think about the greater good of all Kentucky. We appreciate it. Thank you, Representative Angie Hatton. Much more Hey Kentucky right after this.